brothers and sisters. This is Dr. William Snedlin coming to you from With One Accord Church Ministries with a very brief but urgent warning about what is coming up tomorrow. Uh, some of you may know we put out a video two weeks ago that got a lot of views, fortunately, about the fact that um, this uh, eclipse, which is happening tomorrow, the solar eclipse, uh, happens to coincide with a major Crowley, Aleister Crowley slash satanic holy day, quote unquote. And I think we were one of the few people to point out this convergence. But there's a third thing that's come up since that video came out. And that is the fact that just recently we learned that the, um, the CERN facility over in Switzerland is going to fire up the Large Hadron Collider tomorrow. Uh, in an effort to do some scientific foolishness or other. And, uh, you know, a major part of what these people do in this giant, it's this it's supposedly the world's largest machine, and what they do is they're trying to create, recreate the Big Bang Theory, the Big Bang event. And everybody is a little concerned about this. They don't know for sure what it's going to do, but it from you look at the various things that are going on with CERN, you know they're not just science. They're very much into the occult, into Eastern, uh, things like Hinduism and such like that. So this is a very eerie coincidence of three separate things going on. The solar eclipse, the uh, Crowley feast day of the equinox of the gods, that's what he called it. It's not a astronomical equinox. It's just the term they use. And now this CERN thing with the Hadron Collider. So, you know, now before I go further, let me explain that a major feature of Aleister Crowley and his disciples and the magical rituals and workings that they did down through the centuries, not centuries, down through the last century, even to this very day, these black magicians that are part of the Thalema cult, people as famous as Jack Parsons and L. Ron Hubbard, and of course Crowley himself, have been working to create portals, to create doorways into dark dimensions, into places where alien intelligences reside that they can communicate with and draw into our world. This has been going on since the early part of the 20th century with the beginning of Crowley's supposed religion. And, you know, it's people are continually trying to do this down to the years. I even attempted to do such a magical working myself when I was in Milwaukee and a high level sorcerer, black magician, whatever you want to call it, and a member of the Philema group back in the late 1970s. So, you know, Previous videos that we have done and others have done about CERN have revealed that this outfit is very much into, you know, the idea of opening some kind of portal that they've produced, if you will, music videos about their work that evoke the occult, that evoke the idea of, of magic circles of beings outside of reality, be invited into our reality, things like that. Again, we've done... Or, Oh, two or three years ago, we did a video about this. And I would say this, they are using their science, and I use that word in quotes, science falsely so-called, as Paul would say, to create this, this enormous machine to open up portals into dark dimensions. And I, you know, that's a bold statement, but I really think it's true. I think... The cover story they're using is basically, you know, scientific gobbledygook, techno bell, without any more validity than the stuff you see on an old Star Trek show. So, since the 1930s, and again, I've spoken on this in other videos, but, but black magicians have been attempting to merge science with the occult, to take ceremonial magic and blend it with the latest stuff of science. And I would just ask, what if this is the latest thing that's going on? The combination of CERN, the eclipse, and the Crowley feast. Now, because of this, we need warriors, 
spiritual warriors to hit the battlements right now and begin praying. And we want people to pray. We, we have three or four already really powerful pattern prayers on our website at withoneaccord.org. But we're going to put up a new one that addresses this idea of trying to open portals that should not be opened. To open, you know, we, in our um, deliverance prayers, we often talk about shutting doorways that have been opened by sin into a person's life. Well, in the same way, these people are trying, I believe, to open doorways and to use the energy of this eclipse because even though the eclipse doesn't appear to be getting anywhere near Europe, that doesn't mean they can't harness the, the energy from it. And the fact that many, many people, probably hundreds of thousands of people, are going to be fearful because of what they see. They, you know, it looks like the sun is being eaten by the moon, if you will. So they're going to try and harness that. So I would exhort and ask you, viewing this, to please garner as many, you know, allies as you can in terms of spiritual warfare, to pray that the Almighty would keep these portals shut, to pray that, that he would put mighty angels around CERN and around the Large Hadron Collider and also around this whole eclipse to keep it from in any way, because it's just a natural phenomenon. There's nothing inherently wrong with the solar eclipse. But, you know, again, bad guys can use it for evil. And we would just pray that the Lord had put uh, mighty angels around the eclipse to prevent it from being harnessed by the evil ones and to keep these things from being released into this world. Okay, basically, that's what I've got for you. Please take this seriously because I, I'm not saying this is going to be a world-shattering event like some people are. I, I don't know about that. It, it might be. In any event, pray. For goodness sake, pray. Pray like your life depended on it because it does. And, um, you know, do warfare against these, these dark, dark forces that are trying to unleash more evil on the world. We already have more than enough evil going on, I would say. So that's basically what, what I want to say. Um, again, we're going to try and have a sample prayer up on our web, you know, website at withoneaccord.org very soon, hopefully within 30 minutes of this video. And um, we would ask you to also please continue to pray for us. Please share this video with as many people you know, especially if they happen to be spiritual warfare people, intercessors, and also, please pray about continuing to support the work of our ministry. Uh, we do have a, a slide up that shows the various ways we can do it. So I'm just going to end with a very brief prayer, kind of like what I just said. But Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, you know, who is Yah, come in the flesh, we pray that you would destroy the works of the devil in this particular situation. We pray, Father, that you would put mighty protective angels, guardian angels, all around this large Hadron Collider to prevent it to be used for any wicked purposes. We also pray, Father, that you would please protect us from any negative influences from the eclipse. You know, every every single person on earth, especially believers. And we also would pray, Father, that you would destroy the works of these, these black magicians that believe they're following Aleister Crowley and his his demonic, you know, cult of Thelema, the 93 current rapidity would destroy their works as well. Send your mighty angels to just shatter those things, destroy them and obliterate them, all of their devices, all of their engines of spiritual destruction with the power of the cross and the sword of the spirit. Father, in Yeshua's name, we claim victory over all of these things. We declare that all of these things are weak and beggarly elements that Yeshua has nailed to the cross. They have no power over his body, the body of Christ, and we declare his lordship over all these things, his sovereignty, and we speak victory to the followers of Christ right now in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMoshiach, Omein, Vimru, Omein. And with that, 
I ask you again, please share this video with everybody you can get, get it to. And please take this prayer, um, this need for prayer very seriously. And then, and then we just wish you all the very best in Yeshua HaMashiach. Shalom, shalom.